Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you will want to offer discounts to your customers. An easy way to do this is to create a discount item you can add to sales forms. To do this, first create a new product by clicking the gear button and then clicking the products and services link under the lists heading. Then click the new button in the upper right corner of the page to open the product or service information pane. Click the non-inventory item type choice in this pane. In the name field, type discount or whatever you want to name the discount item. Alternatively, to offer multiple percentage discounts, name the item discount percent by the percentage discount. For example, you could type discount 20%. This helps organize multiple discounts if using multiple different rates. Next, in the sales price or rate field, enter the discount percentage as a negative amount. For example, if creating a 20% discount, enter negative 20% into this field. QuickBooks Online Plus converts the percentage entered into its decimal equivalent. For example, entering negative 20% turns into negative 0.20 as its value. Change the income account to some type of contra income account like discounts given. Be sure that the Is Taxable checkbox is unchecked. When finished, choose either the Save and Close or Save in New command to save your entry. To use a discount line item in a sales form, Click the Create button and then click either the Invoice or Sales Receipt link under the Customers heading to open a new invoice or sales receipt. From the Choose a Customer drop-down, select the customer for whom you want to enter the sale. In the Split Line list, select the products or services to sell from the Product Service column. If the only items in the sales form are the items to discount, then first note the subtotaled amount of those items. This amount appears in the lower right corner of the invoice or sales receipt. Then enter the discount line item into the next blank row in the line item area. You must then enter the subtotaled amount into the quantity column for the discount line item. This ensures QuickBooks Online Plus properly calculates the discount for the items entered. You can now continue entering line items into the sales form if needed. When finished, choose one of the Save options to complete the transaction. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.